Welcome back. You have made it through 100% of your worst days and you'll do it on the next worst day. So listen, we're all uh, getting through this uh, crypto winter and I uh, think, think we're starting to see some positive signs potentially, uh, hearing some positive news uh, on the Drip ecosystem as well. But before we get started, I want to clarify a couple of things. I'm not Miss Kwan. I'm not Twan. I'm not Fire Marshal Bill. I'm not Homie the Clown. And I'm not Stuart, so let me do it, let me do it. And homie, don't play that because I'm not your uh, financial advisor. You got to do your own research. So anyway, one of the best comedy shows that I wish they'd bring back because Saturday Night Live is just not hitting it these days, but uh, In Living Color was the best, still is the best and uh, some great character sketches there and uh, comedians. Uh, uh, anyway, um, we'll jump right into this. I want to keep this brief and short and just kind of give you guys some updates here. So the first bullet point that I have is, is Forex Shark the next Elon Musk of DeFi? And I wanna say I hope not, because I think Elon Musk is full of himself. I don't want Forex Shark to be full of himself, but in terms of ingenuity and success, I think Forex Shark could be on that same level potentially. What I also don't want to happen is for Forex Shark to be able to move the market like Elon does with Dogecoin or anything else, Bitcoin, anything else he speaks on. You know, I don't know if, if Forex will get to that acclaim, but I also don't want him speaking and driving the price of drip up or the, the any any token in the animal farm. I, I, I want this to stand on its own because it's a quality project and quality ecosystem, and it is. And I hope Forex can be a gracious dad and not like Lonzo Ball and Mellow Ball's dad who, you know, wants to take the spotlight, right? This is Forex's baby. He should want his child to grow up and have success on his own and quietly sit in the background and not have move the needle or, you know, make the price go up or down based on him, right? Shouldn't be about him. So I, I think it's good. I think that he has the intelligence, you know, that uh, Elon Musk has. I, I think that he can be that, you know, that big brain like Elon Musk is in DeFi here. I mean, he's super, super innovative. You know, my only criticism has been is not staying focused enough on and prioritizing. The priority needs to be getting the animal farm back up and running first and foremost, right? Getting the dogs out there uh, and, and getting the full animal farm ecosystem up and then launching Scratchy and then launching, you know, the dog uh, Russian roulette game and all those other things. I've been consistent in saying that. I don't have a problem with innovation, but I don't think it needs to all come out at once. I think the biggest thing that's going to drive price back up is getting the animal farm up and running. And I heard rumor, I heard all the stuff, I'm, I'm not hearing anything new yet, but I did hear rumor that he may be opening up the drip BUSD uh, farmer pool, which would be amazing. It's another big step, I think, that will help stabilize the drip. So do that sooner than later, right? Because that, that, uh, that, that pool or farm um, generates uh, pigs, which the pigs are up and running as well. So I don't see why not. It'll help. I mean, people like me who are, you know, really big into the garden, give us a place to, to move our uh, LPs from the drip BUSD and, you know, in the garden to uh, generate some more pigs. I'd love that. That would be another positive step. And also, I believe, stabilize the price. So, so anyway, uh, you know, again, not, uh, uh, not a lot more to say about that. I think you all know where I stand on that. And uh, again, I'm a big fan, I'm a big fan of Forex, but I'm also going to speak and give some constructive criticism in terms of what the focus needs to be. So super innovative stuff coming, very excited about what's coming. But again, the focus, the first thing first, you know, let's get this animal farm up and running and fully functional. And I think a lot of other stuff will take care of itself. You know, and I'm, I'm very long and very bullish on the overall project and uh, ecosystem and, uh, um, and on Forex himself, I, you know, again, we, it's tough. He's, he's growing up in front of everybody's eyes and, and that's a tough microscope to be under, you know? So again, I want to give some grace, but I want to continue to be honest. And because I don't accept, take referral links, I don't, you know, ask anybody for anything. I'm not making one red cent on this. And I want to keep it that way because I want to be able to speak honestly, you know? So anyway, I'm not going to jump into that other controversy going on about that one cat that uh, I talked about early that just did not sit well with me. Uh, did not like him at all. His name is Jonathan. He's, he's a, he's a tool and, and I'll say, you know, I, I'll say, it, I don't care. You know, I'm, I'm not scared of anybody. Um, anyway, um, 
So I'm not going to get into that whole controversy, but uh, you know, do your thing. And and, and I, minor Monday, I'm going to you know probably start winding that series down. I'm going to do it, but I'm going to update you guys on some things. And at the end of the day, drip is drip, and the drip ecosystem is the best thing. Even though it's not up and running yet, it's still the best thing out there going. Right? I mean, you see what's going on with my plants here, right? And in my garden. So um, anyway, uh, that's all I have to say about that. Right? Um, Let's do this. I'm going to show you the, uh, you know, my my uh, drip garden here, and then um, I'll get into one other thing, and it goes based on last week's um, uh, piggy bank uh, video that I did. And and again, I want to share with you the long term secret. But uh, by by Sunday, I will be at two hundred thousand. I'll hit that two hundred thousand plant milestone. It takes me about thirteen seconds, as you've been seeing here, to grow a plant. Um, and this thing is just growing exponentially. I always like to pull up the uh, calculator here in terms of just how quickly this thing is going to go and jump up there. So I think the 22nd or 23rd of July here, I'll be at 300,000, right? So uh, this, this is amazing, man. Keep compounding. Go back and look at a couple of those earlier videos that I've put together for you all that shows you how I started out and where I started out. So um, again, if you just stay diligent in compounding, and uh, the beautiful thing is because if you stay diligent in compounding, when I actually cashed out, let the, the, my two uh, or three open uh, piggy banks uh, cash out last, last Friday, I didn't get hit with any penalties because I'd been compounding so much, right? I'm still making 3.3% on these, right? And this one's getting ready to, you know, uh, cut over um, and be unlocked next week as well. So I'm, I'm excited about where this thing is going to go. Um, you know, but again, I'll, let me just go back. And by the way, another quick tip, you don't have to keep connecting your wallet. If you just click the side navigation links, it'll just stay and you'll get a refresh on them. So again, you see the same number here. I will be at, uh, uh, you know, like I said, uh, 200,000 by uh, the end of, uh, by Sunday. So um, yeah, it's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. So uh, keep it up. So here's the secret. Let me go ahead and pull this spreadsheet up, right? So when I, the last Friday, when I um, basically cashed out, so let these, these three here, um, piggy bank two, three, and four run for seven days. And then I only had one negative action because I didn't do, I didn't cash out or sell my truffles, uh, you know, each day, right? I just let it run for seven and then I cashed out. You saw that I'm making that 3.3%, didn't get penalized for it. And so basically I'll have 24, 23, 24 days of positive actions in terms of compounding and then only one negative versus seven negative when I, you know, do, you know, sell the truffles. So um, anyway, that being said, I want you to look at the number here. I shared this with you, right? Got, got a little bit there, pretty close in terms of the number of truffles that we got, 17 each, right? 17,000 each for, you know, it was about 48 and 47 bucks, about 48 bucks a piece, right? That I, that I put into these. The one, is uh, compounded or a time locked for um, 57 weeks and the other one is 156 weeks, right? Both on the same day, literally within seconds of each other when I did this, right? And you can see what's going on here in terms of how quickly the other one, based on the time lock bonuses that we're getting, how quickly these things are, you know, um, separating from themselves because of the longevity of the time lock that I have with the 156 week one, right? Here's the uh, number of truffles that I generated. Um, you know, I mean, they're basically, you know, 1.8 billion and 2.3 billion is the difference between the two starting the same time, right? Here's the generation. I made $1.44, you know, from the day before versus $1.82, you know, from the time, time I started time locking, right? Um, you know, and again, the number of piglets that I'm generating, um, you know, is the, the one for the 57 week one is 22,000 piglets. Uh, this one is, and again, it's just about a week, right? 28,000 piglets, right? Same amount of money, same amount of piglets. And actually the longer term stake is about 82 uh, piglets less. So Forex Shark has set this thing up for positive actions and long-term liquidity lockup, right? And that's what's going to drive the price up. Same thing when, with the, you hear him talking about the dogs when it launches, right? If you hold on long-term and why is he doing that? Why does he want us to hold on long-term? Because it provides stability, it provides the liquidity and it provides demand, right? When these things are locked up, you're going to see your price appreciate. So everybody who's day trading and getting 
killed on that 10% for claiming and 10% for selling, thank you. You're just feeding us, the rest of us who are patient. And Forex talks about longevity and patience. And, and listen, he's showing it in the math right here and in the formulas here. So that is the secret to the whole animal farm, right? Longevity and patience. So just wanted to give you that, that real good... Uh, <laughs> you know, notice there that, you know, again, the difference from, I made 5,000 piglets. Um, oh yeah, 5,000 piglets since last week when I when I did this and uh, put the one in and I made 11,000 in the long-term stake, right? So just letting you know, just showing you the math here and, and that's the secret. There is no secret. It's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's simple math. So, so anyway, I'll just go ahead and run you through the uh, where we are things. Price, the drip price is at eight forty eight, and again, we're seeing the positive impact of uh, you know uh, that in the garden and everything, right? We're, we're starting to beat decay again because the price is going up, and in the garden, the contracts are going back up. I think everyone's getting ready to you know pile back in and and go for it. And so, uh, I'm at four hundred and sixty two um, drip, and, and I'm at about forty six or forty seven in my healing the. D, um, which I use for to donate. And again, I'll show you, I forgot to make the graphic, but I'll show you the $20, um, you know, that I donated uh, again, because it's not, uh, drip isn't high enough and I don't want to, I just compound it. So I just put 20 bucks again towards um, Southwest Housing Solutions, which I've shown you all um, many times. So, but this is where I'm donating that, that one wallet is, you know, when it builds back up and the price goes back up, everything is going to you know, when I do cash out monthly is going to go to uh, a local uh, Detroit uh, nonprofit. So, so, but anyway, uh, drip, I should be at 500 by July 17th, which will be another big milestone for me. I'm not a whale by any stretch, but working hard and doing it right. Piston token at 239, um, you know, again, consistent there. This thing is about, I don't know, six, seven bucks, maybe. Yeah, six bucks right now. I think it dipped to five and maybe even four when the, the whole market was tanking. Uh, but they've added something interesting too here. I don't like, I tried the the auto compound, or the autopilot. I don't like it because of the way I think it get, get charged more BNB here than, you know, if I just compound myself. So just a heads up on that, my, my personal thoughts. But they had a lotto and, and it's interesting, right? It's similar to kind of the, the games that Forex is releasing as well, you know. So anyway, I will uh, do something on that when that is released ultimately. So I should be at 300 Piston Token on August 1st as of right now. So there we are there. I did show you the uh, the animal farm. Pig's price is kind of stabling out here at 63 bucks, man. I mean, that that's that's a good sign. And I think it's, be, it's been that 50 days since uh, people have gotten their, you know, pig tokens back and just wanted to cash out and dump. And I think we're seeing a floor here. It's been nice because I've, as I've shown you in the, uh, you know, I track all of these stats, right? The, you know, the net compound here and the net, um, uh, by the way, you see the long-term impact here, but the, the net positivity in terms of the uh, net value after compound um, and then the max payout as well. So, um, you know, again, I, I think that this is going to, not only stabilize also and actually see some green in here because you know you're getting more piglets and truffles um, because the price is hopefully stabilizing and again actually it's up from yesterday it was i what i uh, basically co compounded uh you know i it was at 63.14 so the price of uh pigs is actually uh back up a little bit today so i should see a po net positive when i compound later so uh, you know, and again, I do like this tool as well. You know, it has a little calculator here and just kind of shows you where things are. And you can see that that uh, trending, uh, you know, uh, bell, uh, graph that, you know, starts starts going parabolic the last 30% of your contract here. You can see how quickly this is going up, you know, and then by next week, I'll be at 737,000 uh, total piglets for this one, you know, generate about 50 bucks a day, uh, you know, on this. So that'll be nice. I think that next uh, end of month run that I do here will be uh, pretty significantly more. And then I'll talk about the miners on Monday, but that's going to do it. Um, don't really have much else to, to cover for y'all. It's, it's Friday, hang in there. Um, you know, everybody's uh, got some kind of struggle going on. So it's more imperative that you be nice to everybody, be nice to each other, be nice to everybody, be encouraging, say a positive word. Uh, you, know, you never know how much that's going to impact people. Um, be generous, even though you're not rich yet, necessarily. I'm not rich yet, but, you know, try and be generous uh, in, in either with your time or your finances as much as you can do. Um, you know, that's going to do it. I appreciate you all stopping in. Have a great one. Enjoy your weekend. And I will talk to you on Monday.